I'd like to just touch on a topic called I'm going to call molding for ears and what I'm looking at here is a family of products that are used for a variety of reasons let's take for example the question of swimming swimming exposes the outer ear to uh, water obviously and for some people that can be a problem and it can cause problems with infections particularly with children so one of the things that we can do with the with people like that who are susceptible to um, swimming pool water is to make for them a pair of swim molds and on the actual display here you can see all the different varieties of colours that are available that one can use for such a job. So it's cool for kids and basically they can come with as you can see on the top here a, a retention cord so that they come out for any reason or they come out or the kids come out of the pool they can wear them uh, without them being in their ears but they do float and so there's no real risk of losing them but the colours are nice and bright and attractive so that's certainly one solution that you should seriously consider when you're going on holidays either yourself or any of your children another area that mouldings are required for is in industry where we're working in levels of noise that are above or at 85 decibel sound pressure level and we can manufacture uh, different types of plugs some of them are shown along here which attenuate the sound and keep it below a level that would be otherwise dangerous to our hearing and damage our hearing <clears throat> one area that has attracted a lot of interest recently is the hobby of motorcycling and it's not the actual noise of the motorcycle that can be a problem although people might feel that that sometimes cycles going by are quite noisy from the engine but it's more the guys on the bikes the guys and the gals on the bikes and the actual turbulence around the helmets in proximity to their ears that can damage hearing noise levels can get up to 115 to 117 decibels and that's very very dangerous and over a period of time that can damage your hearing so if you're a keen cyclist it's possible to have a pair of um, what we call motor safe or cycle plugs manufactured and they are made to measure for your individual ear they're the best alternatively you can get pre-made one fits all products and um, they're available over the counter but ideally if you're a very keen cyclist I'd strongly recommend you get a pair of made to measure cycle plugs so the general term is most cycle plugs or motor safe plugs so we've covered swim we've covered industrial noise we've covered cycling another area that um, you've got to think about is think of some of your hobbies music sleeping parties all these things we do without thinking a lot about but there are actually products today that make it safer to listen to music particularly if you're actively involved in producing or making music if you're in a group or a band or you go to parties where there's high levels of noise so we we do provide uh, either made to measure or standard products you can buy over the counter for partying safely we have a product range that helps you to sleep more comfortably say your partner's a snorer or you've got noisy neighbours so sleep safes again very handy it doesn't block out all the time but it depresses the sound makes it more relaxing for you and hopefully it helps you to get off to sleep and then as I said before we've also got the um, ability <coughs> for musicians to protect their hearing while at the same time being aware of what's going on on stage so you can have passive protectors which are known as um, etymotic research protectors 15 and 25 
or you can have what are called monitor phones which enables you to monitor what's going on on stage particularly if you're in a band but at the same time it protects you from high levels of noise and often now on TV you'll see many of the modern young uh, stars of music taking precautions to look after the hearing it's very important because one of the consequences of not doing that isn't just possibly losing hearing sensitivity it's acquiring tinnitus which is this buzzing ringing noise in the ears which is not pleasant to have so do take precautions and I hope also that those of you that have noisy hobbies such as clay pigeon shooting you've also got to be aware that when that gun goes off the noise levels can reach up to 140 decibels that is very very high so you must wear protection. Now you can wear cans or you can wear custom made devices and these again can be passive or there are actually today electronic devices that enhance your hearing and then when the gun goes off shut down the sound going into your ears protecting you from damage. So if you've got any of these sort of hobbies you'd like to learn more about how to look after your hearing and your ears, please look at www.ascenthearing.co.uk or pop in to one of our centres in the High Street and we'll be more than happy to advise you on the best solution to your particular situation.